let's move on to the next song. Uh, the song is Story uh, from Italy by Mahmoud. And yeah, this song is still really great. Yeah, five points for sure. Yeah, I, I love this song. The part that we're gonna clap in. I'm gonna fake my my mouth to like singing along to him even though I don't really remember the lyric but I I remember the rhythm of it that's that's gonna be the best part because it's been like really long time I didn't listen to this song again but it's still really amazing song amazing amazing song I just wish that he could represent for Italy another year. He could be the winner. My second place is, is really high. Wait. The distance is um, 26 points. Hmm. Almost be the winner. Uh -uh. I love his third. The whole song, the production and his vocal was so good. I mean, this song is talking about his life, but why we didn't sing along to it? <laughs> the instrument of this song is so amazing. Again, <laughs> still amazing, still really amazing performance. Okay, stop. Still really amazing, yeah. After all the years, this song, this song, the whole performance is really great. But um, yeah, I don't know why, but right right after I'm watching this performance, I feel like it seems like the stage is not really really interesting because I think that because of the light of the performance, it's not. It's really kind of really dark. Uh, even though they used blue and red, but it's just so dark. So I feel like for some reason it just um, kind of make me feel like uh, it's uh, less interesting than. I think that because the stage from every country every year was in like let they get better produce produce. They give more more money on it. They give the light. They have light. They have the production, like the quality of the picture too. So uh, yeah, I mean, throwback made me feel like uh, Eurovision nowadays. Nowadays really have a best uh, equality enhanced, like really enhance the the video so much. Seriously, so Italy, I love this song, and I love the song was uh, chosen for Italy this year, 2023, uh, by Francesco, right? Francesco or some, I forgot his name. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's Marco Mengoni. Wait, it's Marco Mengoni with the song Dua Vita. I love this song. Seriously, I really want them to be the, the top five. Even though I feel like Sweden will be the winner this year, yeah. But I love that song. I'm gonna vote for Italy this year because I like him so much. The song is so amazing. I love his vocal. He's so handsome too. And 
seriously I'm gonna vote for Italy this year even though that we didn't I didn't watching the rehearsal of it still he had he had my vote so uh, Mahamud compared to Mahamud I I don't really have a uh, listen to his song another song from him besides Sondi so wait let me check him a little bit on the, on YouTube because I have a feeling like I have missing something. Oh wait, he had come back in 2019 with a song. Uh, 2021 with a song. Uh, 2022 with a song. Privity. Why I forgot that song? Yeah, this song. Because I'm on a privity. What was happened with my? Brand. I forgot that song, even though that song, this song was in my top 5. Barari Rio, wow this song have 99 million views. He really have a, a lot of grace, a, not a lot of hit, but I didn't listen to it. Uh, what a shame for me. I think I'm gonna watch it later, I'm watching every song from him later. Yeah. Right now, I just only want to watching every song from 2019 Eurovision. So, good luck to you, good luck to you, Mahmoud, on your career of music, and good luck to you, uh, Italy. I hope that Italy this year will receive the best result. I really want them to be in top three. Yeah. So, good luck to you, Italy this year.